This week on Warhammer Wednesday, on the March to 10th edition, we're playing all the old Games Workshop games. This one is Warhammer Quest, which is basically dungeon crawling in the 40k universe. GW's foray into board gaming, basically using their awesome Citadel miniatures. So, we hope it's a lot of fun. Blackstone Fortress itself has a miniature in my favorite game, Battlefleet Gothic, so it'll be interesting to see what is inside the actual Blackstone Fortress. So, we brought the boys for this one too, so Alex and Joe are joining us. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's check it out. Hello, welcome everybody to Warhammer Wednesday, week of six, I think. Something like that. Something like Maybe. that, and we are on our continued journey of playing every Warhammer game <laughs> workshop, <Good> luck, <laughs> games workshop game. We'll get, we'll get through it. Until 10th uh, edition, Jay wants to do it as much yeah, as I do. I do, Joe. I really do. And uh, we're playing every games workshop game that they have up until the release of 10th edition. And we brought the boys with us today. What's up, Joe? I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you never know do. what the hell you're doing, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> All right. Well, we got, the, it. we got the boys with us today. And as you can see here, we are playing Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress. I think this came out in maybe 2019. Uh, this is actually one that I think is, you know, kind of out of print, not not really one yeah, of the current was, games that yeah, we're talking about. I think about. when they did this one and they did the, the Age of Sigmar one, they mm -hmm. did a limited run. Yeah. See how it did. And then I think they brought it back once. Yeah, uh, they because actually, it's still hard to it's still hard to get. It's still hard to get. Yeah. They, they did a bunch of expansions for it. I think it did well. Uh, it's like uh, definitely a board game style yeah. from Games Workshop, which is really interesting. And uh, this is a sci-fi dungeon crawler, which makes it even more exciting for me. I actually bought one expansion already without seeing if we like it. It's downstairs. <laughs> and it's only because uh, it's got the Amble. And I always saw the Amble from, I think it's the third edition codex, which shows a bunch of different races in, right. in the universe. And the Amble's in the background. And I wanted a miniature of well, it. And I think that one has the the Zote in it too. Yeah, this game has a Zote is yeah. in it as well. Yeah. I actually already had a Zote miniature in our Blood Bowl uh, miniature yeah, they came out collection. With one. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, why the reason why I'm saying that is because this game has a ton of little. Uh, unique Warhammer type miniatures that you never really see in the Warhammer universe. All the different creatures. There was some chaos uh, beastmen uh, that you know uh, you don't you don't see often until just recently. I think they're actually bringing back the yep. chaos beastmen. Yep. And we got a fully painted set, Joe. If you show me a little bit there, kind of lift that up. Oh, not not no, no. not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this way. There yeah, you yeah. go. See? So we got all the miniatures painted. There's like some freaking chaos space marines. This and one took me about five hours to do. Check yeah. that one out. That's yeah, my pride and joy. Yeah. I Joe, helped, Joe I helped painted with the that hair. himself. He did great. Himself. Okay, well, I I don't think that uh, you did that, Joe. Never believe me. That I'm going to call feelings. you a liar. <laughs> We're going to have a painting day one of these days, he's and he's uh, going to prove you wrong. I've done uh, painting uh, Joe, with Joe's Chris. definitely <laughs> lying. By the way, <laughs> we're gonna give them nothing but speed paints. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what I really liked about oops, I messed that up. Uh, what I really liked about the uh, this the idea of this one is it's Blackstone Fortress, and one of my favorite games is Battlefleet Gothic, and they have a miniature of the Blackstone Fortress, and this came out like in 1999. And so the Blackstone Fortress has been this legendary thing, uh, and Battlefleet Gothic is very powerful. It's like like a Death Star kind of thing. Well, this game is actually going to take us inside the Blackstone Fortress, and we get to see what secrets are in there. Um, and so that's why we have our merry band of uh, misfits. Misfits, according to Joe. Mm -hmm. We got two yeah. hobbits. Yeah. So we'll we'll show you who the hell are we. Well, I am Amalin Shadow Guide. Amalin. I'm ball. I'm balling. Yep. Amalin. I'm 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 balling. Shadow guide. 
Uh, who are you, Jay? I am Janice. Janice. Yeah, Janice. Janice. The, the uh, Dry, Drake? Yeah, Drake. The, the rogue yeah, trader. The rogue trader. God. The so Rogue Trader uh, is actually the name of the first edition of Warhammer 40K. Yep. It's also... That's my I, edition. That's your edition? That's my edition. <laughs> I came in in second edition. Uh, and then the Rogue Trader is also a kill team set that I recently purchased. So we'll, we're going to eventually play that. And it is the name of an upcoming video game, Rogue Trader. Yeah, that one's By uh, who? Uh, Owlcat. Yeah. Owlcat. They do a lot of good Pathfinder video games. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, right here we have Joe, right? Yes. What's your name? You're 025. What? You're 025. I'm a 025? Yes. <laughs> You're, you are 025? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then Alex is actually playing two characters at once. Mary and Pippin. Yes. Mary yep. and Pippin. Which one's Mary? Which one's Pippin? Uh, Pippin's got the grappling hook. Okay, Pippin's got the grappling hook. Mary is uh, looking at his... Yeah, he's got the sniper. All right, y'all remember that. But actually, it's who... who it's and who? Rain and Rouse. Rain and Rouse, uh, the Rattling uh, Twins. And he, he gets to play uh, two, but essentially it's one character. I guess for all intents and purposes. So let us go inside the Blackstone Fortress, shall we? In the game... It's pretty simple. Uh, you just have the exploration step, the recovery step, and then the leader step. So we're gonna explore. So let's go ahead and uh, draw the top uh, card of the explore deck. That's how you begin. So, and boom. So when you do this, you're either gonna draw a combat or you're gonna draw a challenge. And as you can see here, I already knew. <laughs> I just took a peek. How'd you know that? So I can set it up for us. So I've set it up, so it's gonna be a combat, and then you just go ahead and lay out the board. So it's kinda, you know, you have to lay out the board every time. So I thought I could speed things up a little bit by uh, doing that. So when you do that, then after you do that, you go ahead and you pick an encounter. You draw encounters for each one of these, uh, what do you call these, discovery tokens, these little triangles. Yep. You draw one of these cards. So let's see what our first encounter is. It is a Trader Guardsman. Actually, no, I'm lying. It is, we've already drawn them. <laughs> we've already drawn them. So the first one that we drew was Negavolt Cultists. And so, and then you put it on this track to remind yourself. And then the next one that we drew, and so the Negavolt cultists go on space two. And this is what they look like. And it looks like Alex is going first, followed by other Joe, followed by the spindle drone, followed by uh, Jay, and then ending uh, with, with me, you. and then the, the hostile, uh, hostile uh, what are they called? Cultists? Cultists go Mega last. The way the game mostly works is we all have these uh, dice. We roll, and then we slot them in, and then you spend dice with their values to do actions in the game. So it's saying spend one of your dice, and it says you could do any dice for this, so I would take the lowest one in three. And then you can roll a gambit. Uh, give me his uh, agility. I think it's his agility. Yeah, agility value. Okay. So I have the best agility value using one of these, which I, is this a pentagon? I don't fucking know. So I'm going to roll this. Critical So if, uh, if I failed, then my initiative card stays on the same track. If I succeeded, I can swap positions with an enemy adjacent to me on that track. If I critically succeed, like I did there, then I can choose anybody to swap on the track. And I am going to, I mean, we're going to slaughter them anyway, right? I, I so. did critically <laughs> succeed, succeed, so swap me with group three. Yeah. Joe? So now I go sooner, and the spindle drone goes later. Well, I'm going to move. Move his unit. And then I'm going to move. Uh, I can move here. I can move one or both in any order. 
Um, and the only other really special rule that they've got is an enemy is only considered in cover if he is in cover from both Rain and Rouse. Uh-huh. Although, so they're like spotting for each other. And so, right. yeah, so, so you draw a straight just, line. But the, the purple doesn't count as wall. I thought the purples are walls. Purple right? yeah. The purple is walls. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it right there. Yeah. yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah, though? we'd have to come hmm? out here. What are you doing? What, what do you mean, what am I doing? Tell you what, I'm going to move my sniper right look, right. No, don't look at that guy. No, I'm going to look right at that <laughs> don't guy. Don't look at that guy. That's my guy. <laughs> Let's go get that guy. <laughs> Traitor <laughs> robot <laughs> asshole. Like, you sit over there. Hey, it's not your turn <laughs> yet. You're trying right. to, well, is your, you're about trying about to interface be? with it or what? <laughs> right. Yeah. I am. Yeah. We're right. yeah We're Joe, sync Joe did request. He wanted to kill that fucking drone, and yeah. Alex is ignoring him, apparently. He oh, I can't. I can't hear you all the way down here. I mean, it's just, I don't know. He killed my mom, all right? Okay, it's your turn. Okay, so quick reference. So then when you did the action what two okay I'm looking for your reference right. yeah yep one two yep and Joe's <laughs> he's moving Come over here, bitch. <laughs> and that's it I can move three spaces one two a three and then I guess I'll go into overwatch so I can shoot these motherfuckers as they try to come down the hallway one, two, three, four. Go down that way. Well, you actually have to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the wall, purple, purple yep, walls. Yep, yep. And then, I'll, yeah, I'll leave the other other two for Overwatch. Cool. Okay. okay. Guy. Come the get some. The spindle drone. The spindle drone. Get close to the beach. <laughs> Now, what's cool is in the in the game you can. It's actually up to a five-player game. The four-player game, each of us control one adventurer. It could go up to five players, where a human player can control the enemies. Yeah. And then it's even harder because obviously human brain versus the game system. But um, if you're not doing uh, a, you could do the game has a little AI system for every single enemy. So let's check out the spindle drone and what he does. So you roll the blackstone dice, and here are his, his behavior chart. Uh, Alex, go ahead and roll the blackstone dice. 20. Oh, <laughs> shit, Joe. That alert, may not alert, be good. Alert. It is alert, alert, it's alert. Like triangle, triangle. Yeah. One. One. Yeah. He misses. Miss. So yes. it's a failure. He misses. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. Attack the closest attack, explorer that's in attack, range. Then attack closest. the closest You're explorer safe this too. All right, he did it again, and he missed. He Tris missed again. Is once again right. He yeah, tells Joe to shut yeah. the fuck up. I want y'all to play right, and I agree with him. He's right about everything but Necromunda usually, being good. You know what? I think, uh, no, Necromunda is actually good, right, Jay? Yeah. We really yeah. enjoy it. I think I might like it a little better than Kill Team, so he's yeah, right about I, that I, as well. I, th- I think so. Anyways, <laughs> moving me, on. Alex. Um, one, two, three, nice. and then he's gonna attack. One, two, a three, and one, two, a three, and they can occupy two, two hexes. Um, yeah. So that's a that's a good question. Let me see if the roll is for individual. Now their range, you can see here, is actually uh, NA. So they have no range, but one hex. So they're close combat. Yeah. J, roll one triangle for that guy that's right next to you. It's an electro goad. Here, you roll it because... No, you uh, roll it because I don't have uh, a green screen so cam. No, oh, I don't so, have one either. Yep. Don't Alex, hit the you camera. Roll it. You're about to hit the camera. Because I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to roll what rolling for you? The, the attack dice for the uh, cultist. Crit. That's true. Alex is yeah. worse, though. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't you don't want, want you don't Alex rolling. That's fine. It's no, fine. no, no, you got two misses. So what did you roll, Alex? Crit. Two crits. Oh, my God. Well, I rolled one, so yeah, the... The two pips. Yeah. Anyways, this is an electro goad, and the special ability is it's a lightning arc. Ignore cover. In addition, no defense roll may be made against what? a wound or grievous wound inflicted by electro goad attack. And you said it was a, <laughs> a critical success. Two yeah. pips. Uh, the target suffers one grievous wound. You, you can dodge. So he pokes you right in the oh, stomach. So you have defensive uh, rolls? It said, no, you said defense like, no roll defense may be made oh. because of the lightning arc. Uh. So he slams the electro pole right into Jay. <laughs> so I'm assuming this, these yeah. go into the squares, right? Okay, they only attack once because the range is... So, what about my Overwatch, though? This. 
So you see how you have this. I'll, I'll get to the Overwatch here yeah. in just one second. So if this happens, uh, then, you only then, get the three dice. then you only get three slots for yeah. dice in the future if I were Jay. Okay. So, yes, Jay, you're right. Uh, remember, it says uh, Overwatch. You can... Well, if I... Well, look at your, well, your ability. Yeah, here. it's a it's a, a one plus, so I can use both of those. Okay, on it. So it's a pistol and rapier. Cross reference the range. Yeah, it's only one. Okay, yeah. what, so do you, it's what do you fire uh, with? Tri uh, triangle. Right? Fire with triangle. Oh, so crit, it's crit, success, <laughs> critical success. It is a grievous wound to the um. Guy, give him one of them red markers. Each wound counter causes one. Each grievous wound causes three. Yeah, oh. he's dead. Ooh, oh. first. Nice. Okay. And this that. can't count as inspiration on Overwatch. Yeah, I'm going to do another Overwatch. All right, spend the dice so and roll. I'm spend this and roll the one, purple two. game. Oh, another crit. one. Crit. Another super, super crit. <laughs> okay. Jay, killing people with Overwatch. That's it. Next. The other guy. 16. <laughs> 16. Oh, now he comes in. Is... Punches my face. So it's like two swipes. But his range is zero or one. Is so one, yeah. He just stays there. Okay. Cool. This is super Very simple. simple so far. We're going to fucking whoop their ass. They're not going to do anything to us, and then we're going to move on to the Except next OJ, expedition. He's gonna get OJ ain't coming back. Yeah. He Which reduces the OJ factor because he fucking sucks at anything with dice. <laughs> so so here the is the amble, and it is the <laughs> dreaded amble. And this is what Joe kills all the fucking time in it's Gladius. It's different. But they it's before. Different. It's not supposed to be out yet, so it's the preamble. Yeah. <laughs> this is it's the preamble phase, yeah. so the amble's not here. Now He's it's the amble yeah. phase. Yeah. And he comes in with yeah. two little guys, yeah. two gross guys. Give me the gross guys, Joe. Boop. I don't know what these are, but they're cool as fuck. So that's an expansion. He came separately. Yeah. Move is one, a two, a three. Now you should be able to. Now I you could do think it. I might be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, luckily, I rolled three fours, so I can fire at this guy a bunch. <laughs> I failed. My second four to fire again. I failed. <laughs> I only have one four left. Uh, point blank. Oh, actually, uh, I wasn't supposed to use that one for the long rifle. Yeah. The long rifle was the single Your triangle. triangle. Yeah. Hit. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Right. He has one wound left. Yeah. And with my final four, I will try to kill him. You could do it. Ah. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah, you got another one over there. Uh, we can use a destiny dice to keep going. Killed him. Killed him. I got him. Okay. Now, at the end, is it the, at the end of this turn? Be, because we've killed uh, one group, we got to roll for reinforcements. Roll the dice again. Eleven. Eleven. Now that is the action. Onslaught. Onslaught. That means it attacks other Joe. Brilliant. Joe, you're getting shot by That's the cute. spindle drone. Is and then you're going to get shot by the spindle two, drone again. Three. Yeah, that would. That's not. So it does hide him behind that wall. So yeah. it goes. Bish, bish, and then nothing happens. So come on. You attack down. twice. Yep, that's the onslaught. And you did nothing. Nothing. All right, well, and next on the card they're is two. OJ. Oh, shit. It's dead. these guys because I didn't wipe them. Oh. Damn it. I might. Oh, wait, no. We no. wiped him. Oh, yeah. oh, that, yeah. I was looking you at Jay. Yeah. Jay good. fooled me. I thought you was a cultist. I was about to shoot you in the back Ooh. of the head. That's a yeah, fucking Xeno thing, thing to think. Yeah. 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 All yeah. humans look the same to me. <laughs> Monkeys. All right. I'm Eldar. All right. Anyway, so back to, um, yeah, my back turn. to OJ. Okay, I'm going to use my four to move twice. One, two. I'm going to choke no, this No, that's speciesist. I'm going to choke him. Okay. All right, I'm attacking him. I'm going to use my power claw. Two, uh, okay. two diamonds. Um, two diamonds. Power claw. You're going to crush the draw. Oh, a six, six, crit and, and a, a hit. hit. I think you did it. The mad lad did it. 
set up the fucking green screen cam. So that's uh, three. That's three plus one wound. That's four wounds. Yeah. The drone only has two wounds. So you crushed it. And he crushed it with a power claw, I which is it. important. That's my up. secret agenda. And Wait, was this fucking you know? body slammed it? No, because I mean it's okay. So what was your secret agenda? Uh, I need to kill the spinder drone with the power claw action. Ah, with the power claw. Yes. All right, here's your discovery card, Joe. You found another clue. Sweet. Uh -uh. We have two of four clues. Excellent. You can roll. You can use a four plus action, and that Summit. set set up the maglev transport escape chamber next to a portal. So now you're adjacent. Now you have to use a four plus dice mm -hmm. to summon. Do you have a four plus yep. dice? Yeah. Okay, what happens is set up the maglev transport escape chamber next to the portal. I put the portal back. So it's like that. Oh, I wonder if it's supposed to replace yeah. the portal. Yeah, I think so. It yeah. says set Actually, it up hit the closed door button. The Fuck portal. you. Yeah. <laughs> it says <laughs> escape chamber next to a portal, but whatever. And then, Joe, do you have another dice left? Yep. All right, get, use that dice to enter. Boom. All right. We're at the weight limit. So now yep. you are in, and these two assholes need to get in. Um, who's next? It's Jay. Me. Jay? Okay. So. Uh, use a four plus to summon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jay doesn't have, have, have a one. four plus. <laughs> we have okay, one. But yeah. we actually do have one. This is the only yeah. one I was able to reroll. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. So then that will set up the chamber next to the thing. Okay, Jay, you've got four dice. Yep, Obviously, get use in. one to get in. Yep. And then I'll overwatch. Yeah, how about that? And then you can overwatch. And then I have three dice left, and the, I move to do one. Do the bad guys two. have to go first? Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. When the hostile activates, we roll one, two, or threes, they come back. Seven. So they don't come back. Yeah. And now the hostile gets to activate, but there's no hostiles because we killed them. And. Then it's my activation. That's when I can move in. Okay. So if I did everything right, then that is kind of how you escape. And then now at the end of the event phase, if all explorers are out of action or if all of the explorers that are not out of action are in the maglev transport escape chamber, the combat ends. Cool. All right. So then the combat ends. Then that's when we go to the other phase, which is the recovery step, which if anybody was hurt would recover. Yeah. And then the leader step where you pass the token to Alex. Pass the leader token to Alex. And then we go back to the exploration step. Mm -hmm. Double rations for everybody. Yeah. Are we? Do we agree to continue the expedition? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, okay. <laughs> it is a challenge. Cut them down. So... A group of hostiles are escaping with a horde of valuable material. They must be brought down before they get away. In leader order, Alex. Yes. Each explorer takes three weapon actions. The first weapon action is treated as if the explorer were attacking a hostile visible to them that is not in cover and is at a range of three hexes. Oh, okay. What does your weapon do at range three? Uh, sniper rifle is a purple. Okay. Uh, fire the first one. Miss. The second weapon action is treated as if the explorer were attacking a hostile visible to them that is not in cover and is at a range of four hexes. They're running away, Alex. Snipe them. Got them. Crit. Woohoo! Uh, the third weapon action is treated as if the explorer were attacking a hostile visible to them and is not in cover at a range of five hexes. Uh, also, this one. No. Fuck. Miss. Add up the damage scored by each explorer. Okay, well, we've got to do it for the rest of us. So Alex contributed two. Joe, go. The first one is at a range of three. So, yep, that one. You get three rolls. Miss. Joel rolled a miss. And then four, which is this one. Oh. And then five is also that one. Don't catch. catch. Yeah. Oh. Joe got two damage. And the final shot at range five. Yeah. Whoa, another two damage. Six damage, damage total. Yeah. My goal. Um, I've got a long rifle, so I'm rolling. Yeah. So the first roll is this triangle. I miss. 
The next two rolls are this bad boy. Miss. 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 Oh, the worst. I don't want to be Eldar the one that doesn't contribute. Ever. One, one. Yeah. one. <laughs> Clipped him. <laughs> got one. All right. So I got. Jay's going to be the one that fucks yeah. it up. Yep. One. Yep. There you go. There's one. Hey, hey great. Crew. And the last one. Okay. So one how great. much did Jay do? Two. 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 So what's the total? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine damage total. Add up the damage. Any uh, explorer that inflicts a total damage of four or more gets to draw a discovery. So Joe is the only one. <laughs> Joe is the master. Aim bot bullshit. Give me that. Robot uh, targeting. Uh... I bought them. Uh, I couldn't hacks. see because your giant lumpy ass was in my way. That's I bought them five dollar hacks, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe. Here is your discovery card, and for succeeding, you got <coughs> Air Archotech. Archaeotech. Fuck is that? Archaeotech. <laughs> I don't know. One one Archaeotech at the bottom. Heresy. Yeah. I think you only Heresy. got one Archaeotech. <clears throat> well, that was okay. Yeah, everybody kills that the heretic. That was kind of fun. Uh, draw the next. Uh, Exploration card. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because we go to the recovery step. <laughs> recovery? Was anybody hurt? Nope. No. No, leader moves over to Joe. Joe, you are now the leader. Everyone give me your gold. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw the exploration card. The next I one. recognize you as a higher ranking officer, not a superior officer, because you can eat my ass. Both of them. Gross. Gross. <laughs> All right, Joe, here we go. Joe, oh my God! Combat. I'm always ready got, for combat. We got a big combat. Yeah. Though there's only two spawns, we're gonna f we're gonna fuck them up. That's all bullshit. right. You know what? I'm firing back at that asshole that fired at me. So this guy. Damn, two hits. No, those but are the misses. fucking cover. <laughs> and I'll fire one last time. Yep. You can yeah, you bitch! Go. Fuck you! Fuck you! False! 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 Motherfucker. But that's only a regular hit. No, that was a crit. I crit. No. Crit. Crits go become down. normal hits. Normal hits. He's a normal. So you, he's, you just normal hit him. Yeah, he's just wounded. Oh, uh, okay. No, you're right. Uh, give me one of them chips. Yeah. How much? How much life do guardsmen have? It can't guardsmen. be more than one. It's two. Two. <laughs> Damn it! Guardsmen are disposable. They should have one. You fucker. All right. First shot, I'm going to take... Uh, take the back ones out? I take one, the back... Yeah, at the one that's one. hurt already. Yeah. We'll I'm try to... try to go shoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot the one that is adjacent to uh, Mary. He is dead with a crit. Oh, nice. Um, God damn. If you want, I can take more shots with the pool dice, but you guys have to agree. I don't, I don't mind. Let's do it. Let's roll as many. Yeah. You're, you're on a roll. Uh, I'm going to shoot the guy in the back with the big rifle. I missed. Mary doing work, though. Is this Mary? No, this is the sniper guy. Pippin. No, that's Mary. No, that's Pippin. Pippin with the sniper rifle. Yeah, Pippin. Pimping. Crit, so the guy with the oh, rifle is dead. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and so that's six, right? Yeah, six points. Uh, and I'm going to take the, the final shot, yeah. and then I'm going to shoot the closest one to um, Mary, and he's dead. Nice. Did you? Damn, you you critted four times? Yep. Yeah. No, this critted once. This critted once. twice? Once. I crit, I crit three times, and I, uh, I crit three times in a normal hit once. But yeah. they don't have cover, so I don't have to. Yeah. Move towards the three. closest explorer, then take a charge. So he moves at a ooh three movement. One, two, three. There you go. Up. He's gonna then take a charge action. When he attacks, he makes three attack rolls. Carry out each attack one at a time. He misses. Oh, he crits. Oh. All right. Let me do my defense. And I miss my defense. Remember, we're not hunting them. They're hunting us, says Janus Drake. That's that's your character. Yeah. Hugh Janus? Yeah. Hugh Janus. He got he got me. No, that's some bullshit. Remember, 
They're not, we're not hunting them, they're hunting us. Huge Janus Drake. All right, did you miss your dodge? Yeah. Okay, you took a grievous wound just yeah. like I did. Man. Fuck. Yeah. All right, now we're getting to the difficulty. Pick a new butthole. New butthole to the left. Four. Four. He motherfucking falls back. Yay. Okay, let's Three. See. Tree. That is also a fallback. All right. Cool. So it's <laughs> like, guys, come on. They're hiding behind that wall. <laughs> come on. They're yeah, hearing gunfire. I'm just going to shoot these two dudes. I'm going to shoot the guy in the, the white overcoat first. Uh, what are you talking about? With who? My sniper, this guy? My sniper guy. Your sniper guy. Uh, they still get the benefit of cover, unfortunately. Why? Why? Well, because if we draw a line, no, he's there's a, a scout, white. Though. Uh, you see this white line here? I'm trying to determine whether this white line blocks these from... Uh, drawing oh. on a on a straight it's, line. Yeah, you might. Uh, and then I can move. I can actually move two with him, but I don't think I want to. It's an annoying edge case, yeah. Yeah. Literal edge case, huh? <laughs> huh? Because they don't know how to write. Yeah. Um, okay. First first shot. Yes, sir. Uh, -cha! Is that a crit? No. He takes a wound, so why the white guy takes a wound. Uh, white guy is dead. Good. Good, good, good. The other white guy. But okay, I'll shoot the other one. The same guy. So the white, the guy with white coat, white pimp coat. I can't see from here. Uh, he takes one, one wound. Uh, can I take a, a combat? Yeah, definitely. One of these. Definitely. Yeah, we got plenty. Yeah. No. Do it again. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, no, it's not Overwatch. You're good. Keep going. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. He's dead. God. He dead. He's super dead God. in the back of the head. But, but, oh, no, from the front of the head. Boom. This guy just snitched on him. Yeah. And I'm not inspired. Oh, man. And I'm done. Cool. I killed everybody. Use a dice over here so I can try to if maximize you, if this. If you move here, here and then yeah. this is just a normal move. Yeah. So I can move two with this one. Yep. And then move one with that one. Mm. And then you get a two this attack with a normal Dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. double crit. Nice. Got you, Jay. Got <laughs> Got me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it, Joe. <laughs> All right, well, we're Do it. Go for okay. it. Go All right, for let's it. do it. One, two, three. Come on. Crit, crit. Crit, crit. crit. Are you dead, super baby? murderous? Are you serious? <laughs> All right, dead, now baby. roll this. Oh, roll no. this and get lower than a six. Yeah. Told you zero. I'm the best. Nine. <laughs> 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 you look at it upside down. <laughs> You're inspired. Right, don't even don't even matter because he's already inspired. He's double inspired. Double double, double yeah. triple inspired. Yeah. Do we have any destiny dice left? No. No. no we just used the, the, the last one. Yeah. But that's the round. Well, that's the round. So we get more. He can roll five times. All right. Roll or four times. Dice yeah. For, uh, enemy phase two. Please don't roll one through three. Oh, you don't want to have to try gambits? No. He's not gonna get it. He can do it four times. And then he's not gonna be able to move. Thank I was about to say that's a <laughs> yeah, one. I was like, what I the need fuck? to figure out where the, I yeah. had the triangle. Joe, go. Okay. He escapes. I'm gone. No, that's not how it works. You go next to it, and then you have to spend a, a dice, yes. yeah. four plus, and then we set. Four oh, plus. I see. Yeah, it's just. It's just yeah. Yeah. And then your yeah. last dice? Yeah. Yep. And then we're done. We're good. Got it. Okay. Did we win? We well, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we won failed. that in that combat. In camp, yeah, they, we got no clues. It was a total waste. Jesus. All that happened is you took some grievous wounds. Yeah, I got fucked okay, up. Okay, but this is when it matters the recovery step because you and me are both fucked up. Yeah. Wait, are you almost dead? Yeah, yes. I'm almost dead. <laughs> yes. Let me see your I'm fucking about to die. card. As I told him, leave first. Oh, leave me behind. He took a. God damn, boy! You only have one one slot left. Not dead yet. Well, not dead yet. And I had three slots. Left. Look, you got two yeah. legs. You don't need both of them. Yeah. All right, hobbles. Like you're fine. We're good. All right, hold on. <clears throat> so now we do the recovery step. We've never done this before because we've never uh, showed up injured in this. What loser, G? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm hurt too. 
Let's All right, ready? And recovery rolls. Uh, what do we do with these? Why don't you shut up? Maybe pretty fucking <laughs> cool. I'm pretty, like I'm pretty hey, sure you have to use We're dying. Abilities. We're fucking bleeding on the ground. Well, continue and you're dying. Here you looking suck. to use loot. <laughs> well, you con suck. Yeah, continue dying. I want to spend my loot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there was, a, I think there was a, did I skip it? Because we, I think we were supposed to go to the fucking ship. Oh, yeah, we hadn't heard that yet. Yeah, uh, so roll the Blackstone dice, Jay. All right. If the roll is equal to or less than the number of grievous wounds, the explorer dies. So don't roll a one or a two. Here we go. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Did you just roll a one? <laughs> yeah, grim dark. Grim dark, motherfucker. I just rolled a one. You rolled a one. <laughs> I rolled a one. The explorer dies <laughs> from their wounds and cannot be used oh. in any future expedition. We will always remember Hugh Janus. Oh, my gosh. Place Hugh a Janus mortis card besides the their character card to show that they are dead. And... Can we lose this clue? And the expedition ends. Oh, well, thank you. My inspiration's gone because of you, Jay. <laughs> oh, the expedition man. ends. You ruined my inspiration. The role is greater than the number of grievous wounds. Place the explorer's miniature in the maglev transport chamber. The survivor of an explorer that is out of action. And oh no, you weren't out of action. Yeah, you didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. That was only if you. Uh, I had four. If you had grievous four wound. of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Boo. So basically what we would have done is we would have wheeled him back to the ship and we would have like done CPR and he rolled a one and then he would have died. We just split the loot. I think with that's him. how yep. that's how that All was right. working. But since that's not Okay, so uh, still, now I'm he still tries here. to heal. Roll, uh, roll your uh, vitality. vitality. Yeah. Uh you nothing. You failed. Uh roll my vitality. See if I recover. Hey, I got a crit, so I can turn this grievous wound into a normal wound, is uh, how that works. Okay, so we return to our ships here. Legacy step, then a trading step. So here's the legacy step. The legacy deck is shuffled by the leader, and one card is drawn at random. Where's the legacy deck? Shit, debris storm. The cost of all... Resource cars is God increased damn by it. one. <laughs> Man, that's, that's the, the worst bullshit. one you can make. No, let's do a redo. <laughs> all right, redo. <laughs> redo. Bail. You all die. <laughs> Joe says redo. <laughs> Legacy card. <laughs> no escape route. That's even worse. Roll the Blackstone dice if the players decide to end the expedition. We did. Go ahead. On a roll of 1, 10, or 20. 11. Ooh. They must res reveal and resolve one more exploration, one more exploration <laughs> card before the expedition ends. Man, I'll be like, fuck you, game. I said I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> this does not apply if the explorers are all out of action or if no cards are left in the exploration deck. You can't tell me to keep playing when yeah. I say I don't want to play. You're going to keep playing. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Roll the black zone dice. You can re-roll the dice if the explorer using this facility is uh, the shadow guide. That's me. That's you. Okay. All right. So good. If uh, the roll is higher than the number of clue cards that Explorer has, nothing happens. If the roll is less than or equal to the number of clue cards that Explorer has, they receive a clue card. I have zero <laughs> clues, so, so I have to roll a zero. Yeah. If I had one, I'd have to roll a one on a Can D6. I, I yeah. want yeah. people to, to notice a a Alex's face here. Look, I and give that's, I give Joe too. GW so much shit about the price because nothing they make I feel is actually worth the I just don't like rolling a D20 and having to hit yeah. such ridiculous percentages. Yeah. But the second thing that GW does very poorly is shit exactly like this. Like, it's wild. That, this, that this, is fucking useless. It's yeah. just, it's, what it is, is it's, I don't know if it, I want to call it lazy game design, where it's just like, roll. it's candy, shoots, and ladders. Just roll the dice. And the small percentage. I, it, the, why? The variance why? is so insanely high, right. it it's, might as well not even be on there. Exactly. Yeah. And if I was designing a game, every fucking aspect of it is engaging and, and you know, has meaning, whether you're getting something yeah. good or getting something incremental, fine. Yeah. But those are just, it's just filled with feel bads when you, Joe, did you break that already? Break what? I didn't break anything. <laughs> It's a Just, magnet. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a hole in the side. Oh, it's of it. his eyes. <laughs> it's his eyes. Okay. Anyway, if you go to your own ship, do you well, get no, more money? We, we get to we get to do something. No, if we go there, we get to do what that thing is. We'd have to. Well, I guess. 
Because this one is exchange. Exchange, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's the only one that you or me can do. <laughs> I mean, there I could, but I can't roll a zero because I yeah. don't have a clue. Yeah. So we, we, I guess we all have to go. There. <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue. So we all have to go here. <laughs> all right, Joe. Why don't you start us off? All right. Hopefully I don't get so a one. This is just <laughs> using the facilities, though. I don't think this is resources. So, yeah, so Tris said something that someone else also said earlier. If you go to your own ship, you get a free tech. Is that in the rules? Add one to the number of trading points an explorer has when they <laughs> trade on a spacecraft they are based on. There Woo! Free money for us. Well, As because, we go. But he because, wants to see if he wants to chance it. No, no, because if you get, if everything costs five, there's, there's, there's no a point. point. Yeah. yeah. Go. Sorry. Use the facilities, Joe. Oh, okay. There's some ones. 11 okay. plus, baby. Roll two ones in a row. Before you Critical that, fail. Before you roll. Before you roll. Okay. I need the... 19, 19 first roll. Wow. Perfect. Oh, Jesus re-roll. Christ. You don't uh, want to re-roll. <laughs> That's the best yeah. roll. No, re-roll. Go ahead. Oh, you got a one. That's, yeah. not, That's not very random, though. It is random because you're going to hit the first random. So right, if it's the, a clue, then we don't nice. use it. 16. I get a... Okay. Random. Random right. whatever. Yeah. Ooh, another one. Okay. Would you guys like to partake? Yeah, yeah we're going to What is the What is the roll we need? 11 or higher. Oh, okay. What did you get? N uh, six. Come on, one. A six. six. <laughs> same thing. So that's nothing, right? Yeah. Oh, is is that your exact same yeah. roll? The dice never six. lie. Six, six, six. Yeah, one more. Okay, now I will roll. Now I will roll. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! You dead. You're you dead, dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, there's no way to get... You're dead. That wasn't a mistake. Like, Jay made a mistake earlier. Yeah. I'm dead dead. Yeah, you dead. dead dead. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No rerolls. I went to the ship and and then Joe thought it was funny. He stuck me in the goddamn airlock and pressed the button hey. and it fucking killed me. Joe, this is going right next. Why you do that? <laughs> this game is going right next to Dread Fleet. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I just I hate I hated that aspect of it, but I hate Dread Fleet more. I would rather play this again so, than Dread okay, Fleet. Okay, so Dread Fleet's on the bottom. This is going right on top of it. <laughs> God darn it. God darn it. Anyways, Welcome okay, to the Shire so hold Beach. on. Um, now, you guys with actual resources yes. can actually uh, trade in those resources to get hopefully cool things. Uh, mam Mamorph Tusk Blade. Discard this card and pick a hostel that is adjacent. That hostel suffers one wound automatically. Oh, nice. Auspects. Hey, Auspects Tactics. Yeah. Uh, this is two, so exhaust this card instead of drawing a discovery card. Deal out the top six cards of the discovery deck. Look at them, so you'll be able to search for clues a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And that costs two. And then Jokero Weapon Enhancement. Hey, you know the Jokero are in Gladius, too. They're those little outposts that you can go to. Mm -hmm. They're these, like, monkey dudes. And you can actually get a Jokero miniature in 40k. Exhaust this card to re-roll a failed attack roll for this explorer. Yep. For and four? four. Exhausting. Wow. Yeah, and you can just hmm. exhaust and unexhaust. I love it. So actually, I really like this uh, this sort of campaign system. I think that that uh, leveling it up with these cards, it's, it's clean, it's simple. Um, I guess just don't roll a one, and I got that one. I know I said I hate the game. I, I actually don't really hate it. Um, you, What it does say, though, is I get to pick a different explorer. So, um, pick the guy that can resurrect people. Yeah. Is there a guy that can resurrect the people? navigator? The, the navigator. navigator. This is a dungeon crawler for the GW fans who play 40k and all these other games to kind of get them into like start them off on a dungeon crawler. But is it the best dungeon crawler out there? No. Yeah, Would I rather play a number of other dungeon crawlers? Yes. yes. Is it the worst? No. <laughs> it's actually not the worst. And I was surprised by that because I thought GW might might mess this one up. But they didn't mess it up. It is just below average on all accounts. And I would say if you want something like this, play Kill Team. Yeah. Play War Cry. Yeah. War Cry. Oh, Warcry my God. Good. I can't wait till y'all play War Cry. War Cry. It's fun. just fast, furious, and I, I just want to play another one. So, and, but into the foray of board games, 
they. But you know, they did GW it. has made good board games in the past. Have they? But they Talisman. Talisman is yeah. awesome. Board Talisman game. was great, in it, but it's you know? a simplistic one. It's very That's simplistic. 30 years old design it's, where you roll yeah. a die, but it's still fun because you're reading stories. It has yeah. way more theme than this. Yeah. Like, it feels more. And everybody's kind of plotting against each other. Right. We're not all in our own fucking rooms. There playing is a 40K by Talisman we were talking yeah. about it earlier yeah. called uh, Relic. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, and so I would give this one. Damn man, I, I'm the one that spent money on it, and look at look at these miniatures. They're so beautiful, but I I don't know. I can't really Could you use you these credit. as proxies in official GW tournaments. Yes. Fuck no, you can't because fuck you. Yes, That's you why. can. You can. Yes, 100. Yeah. percent And they actually, what I do like. Oh, also I have to mention this. Three rule books. Yes. I hate this shit. So yeah, put it, shit in one. I'm reading one, and then it says reference page 14 in this one, and then that one says reference page 10 in this one, and then there's two more. So the two more <laughs> oh, is shit. the background. So there's a lore background. Hell, they even put in one chapter from the Dar uh, from sample the Blackstone chapter. Fortress oh, wow. book. <laughs> sample chapter. I actually like that. Yeah, that's pretty. And then data sheets. So every single miniature in here you can use in 40k, and they oh, actually give all of the uh, stats for each there guy. You go. So Still don't that worry about is, it. you know, and. Knowing GW, I bet you Janus, the anus, was probably only available in the Blackstone Fortress set forever. Yeah. And he's so, probably like a badass inquisitor or something. That's you know? kind of, you know, yeah, that, that GW likes to do that kind of DLC, locked off kind of bullshit. But um, all the data sheets are there. So I got to, you know, give them that, that you can multi purpose this. So let's say you hate the game. Hey, I was only buying it so I can get, you know, these chaos beastmen or these uh, drones that I can put in my army. So there's that double util utility. So for that, um, I would probably end up at about, if I was super generous, <clears throat> I would be borrow at a super mm. generous. Yeah, that's the highest I can go. So I'm between a four or five. And uh, I think I would need, re need repeat plays to end up between there. But, but based on the first play, I'm going to go four. It, and it seems like, like you say, oh, it's going to be so long. Long. It's going to be. And it's tedious because it's yeah. generally the months. same thing. You know months. what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't think you need months. You well, don't, we, say we, we play got, once, let's a, say once we a week. Get so now we know how to play. Yeah. I think we can get three in in a day. Three clues? What? Three, three expeditions. expeditions. So, how many, so that's two clues. It, so far. So far, uh, look yeah. at some of the other combat cards to see if there's three triangles. No, the uh, I'm sorry, exploration cards. Yeah. Are there three triangles on that one? Two. Four. Four triangles. And these are all So challenges. all of them were twos, and then there's one with four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it would be multiple. Each of Blackstone Fortress takes about two to three hours. Can be linked with other sessions to form <laughs> a longer campaign. Yeah. yeah. So even if we get three per session, yeah. That's not even a single stronghold. And we need four strongholds, and then we need the final mission on top Wait, of that. And then you need and to if play. we're playing once a week, so, yeah. it's fucking months. So you're yeah. right. So yeah. let's say two sessions for a stronghold. Let's be super generous. Yeah. Two sessions two for, for a stronghold. stronghold. Yep. So that's three games, three times four, 12, and then the final mission, 13. So 13 weeks. Yeah. And that's if you know what you're doing and we're playing yeah. through it. 13 I, weeks 13 for weeks. This? I'll say 14 weeks. For yeah. this? For this. 14 weeks. I want to change mine. If I'd, just, rather play, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'd rather play Shadows of Brimstone, anything Any. fucking else okay. than this. So then what? I thought change this it? was going to, like, this is. Uh, you thought that they were a little shorter and yeah, we can get bail. to it. Okay, bail. bail. We went all the way a to bar. a bail. I do one step. There's got to be oh, right. a yeah. booklet that you can buy for $100. So then out of 10? You're going to come to the is fours four? with us? Yeah, four below. Yeah. Below. yeah. yeah. I think that. That was quicker. Oh, God. I think I think that there like this is another thing that's completely rough. There needs to be a card in there that says full campaign. It's four strongholds for the thing. Half campaign Force is too much. Two, two, yeah. put three, yeah. two strong like two strongholds or like and then there's a one stronghold one where the stronghold is the full campaign. You don't have to do things like this yeah. is how you build modern dungeon crawls, yeah. but they are stuck in the fucking eighties. So yeah. I don't know. Um, how to help them. So yeah, unfortunate. Uh, well, I bought Warhammer Quest. Silver Tower, I think, which is the a Age of Sigmar version. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we will be playing that one, and I'm curious to see if it's exactly the same just if with Age is, of uh, Sigmar. I love AOS. Or, or if, it is, if it's slightly different. So anyways, 
that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we continue our march to 10th edition 40K, which we're very excited for. Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Yeah,